Welcome to the Fan Club YouTube channel. Please make sure to subscribe, like this video, and comment down below. Yeah, Happy one, New Year. One, Happy New Year, everyone. Fellas, <laughs> he looks tired. <laughs> hey, you a little year. tired on the New Year? <laughs> Day three of the New Year yeah. at 9.55 a.m. And we got yawns. Oh, I'm good. Okay, good. I was He's super awake. comfy yeah. leaving bed, though. <laughs> I, like, hopped it out with my alarm. Feel, felt leaving, nice to be back in my own bed. Dude, leaving sure. bed. Like, leaving my bed. pillows at home are just leaving brutal. Bed. So, like, <laughs> step one. Leave bed. <laughs> so it was I nice like getting back. <laughs> My new 2024 morning routine. <laughs> Leave bed. <laughs> yeah, that's your uh, resolution, that's eh? Yeah. Leave bed. <laughs> it was a long break. It was. Lo- long, probably, uh, actually, that was the longest break we've ever had because every time in school, we've always had to come back like the 26th, maybe the 27th, but... Mm-hmm. And then every other year, it's Winter Classic. Last come back, year, like yeah, we had to come back and went flew to Boston. Yeah, yeah, it's good. It's good reset. Needed, well needed. We're gonna have a good break. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah really good. Fun chill. things done. Relaxed. Felt good to kind of take your mind off work a little bit. Oh yeah, we know. Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you went ghost. Go we'll get right recon. into that if you want. <laughs> Cuddy has a new nickname. 99. 99. 99. Yeah, I was dying at that. 99. I was so pissed. Funny. <laughs> How are you pissed because you're waiting for the it. code? Well, so. Yeah, tell the story. Actually, Throw- let me give some backstory on this. So, usually, like in school, when Cuddy would go back to the farm for the summer, it sometimes it would go like a month without hearing from him, like even a <laughs> text or something. So, he's known for like when he's on break. Oh, okay. He's on break. <laughs> He's on do not disturb. I log, I log out. He logs out hard. And uh, so it's always kind of funny, like, leading up to school, we're all kind of texting our house group. They're like, when are you guys coming back? When are you coming back? Blah, blah, blah. Cuddy would say, like, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Like, uh, just that, yeah. like, just the last minute, whatever. <laughs> so then it happened again this break, and I was like, ah, oh, that brings back some memories. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely irked me. He, uh, Yark. Well, like, <laughs> we were, like, we chatted in the group chat a few times about some things, and then we would, like, say something to Cuddy, and there's no answer at all for, like, hours and hours. And uh, But then this one time when I was signing in to – we had to do some Amazon stuff, like, built – we had to do some Amazon stuff, and his phone was the number to get in. And then I, I asked in the group chat whose number ends in 99. And then I go and look. I scroll down the <laughs> list and I see, oh, of course, the guy who hasn't answered in four <laughs> hours, his number ends in 99. So I couldn't get this code to log in. And then eventually he did get me the code and we were able to get the job done. But it was just funny because then after that, when we needed him again, Lawson was like, Oh, I haven't heard from 99 all day either. <laughs> 99 is just a funny 99, number, yeah. too, because obviously it's Gretzky. Yeah. And like, you don't really want to be called 99 because yeah. then you think like you're top dog. <laughs> that was the worst timing to need a code from me, too, because I had zero service. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. <laughs> so I was like, I got back, finally get a little bit of service, and I'm reading like throughout the group chat because I missed so much. And it's not even worth going back and answering it with everybody. And then... Frizz is just upset. I get to the bottom. Frizz is upset. And he needs this code. And I'm like, oh, gosh. <laughs> 99 or 99. 99 is back in action. And actually, 99 pulled a little prank last night, didn't he? He did. He, fooled, <laughs> he definitely fooled me when I woke up and looked at my phone this morning. I was like, hmm. That's another funny thing I like to do is, like, I'll go ghost mode, and then I'll get back, and then I'll just, like, cha- try to change everyone's mindset going into the <laughs> work day. <laughs> I didn't. I, I didn't see, sniff I, that I one. I wasn't like I. I actually thought he was doing it, but I wasn't going to like. I wanted to roast him a little bit, but then he was like, he was doing something like charity I know, work. I felt the same <laughs> so, yeah, so he said in the group chat that he was going to push the podcast back at like eleven thirty at night. Yeah, to po- push the podcast back th- today for a few hours because he was going to go donate or work at Cans. a food bank or something <laughs> like that. So it's just like, well, he's not like going to the mall or something and he's gonna go do charity work so i just sat there and debated for a while and then i just let it slide <laughs> i was just like when i read it i was like how do you get 
roped into a food bank at 11 at night, yeah. <laughs> like nine hours before. So then that was like a little tell, but uh-huh. I was still wasn't really sure. And I looked at the window and you were walking across to work. So. <laughs> On my way. Yeah. Yeah. 99's back. Happy New Year, boys. 99er. Yeah, everyone's here except Larson. He's sticking around. He had a farmer's meeting today, I believe. He's coming back late tonight. That was just a funny random thing to for Lawson to have on his plate. God, like, I, I never think he heard does it all the time. He just does gone. it here on his computer. So mm-hmm. he won the show face, he said, for the first time. Oh, I see. Cause he, I've seen him before where he's sitting through these like meetings. but Yeah, like a farmer's won. meeting? Uh, no, yeah, it's on like, the board. So it's like through like, his parents' stuff, it sounded like. I don't know. He's part owner. Some, oh, but yeah, I he, gotcha. he won the show face and and, and show that he, Lawson Natchi exists. He's probably just <laughs> wants to go on his phone. So he said it's not, He said it's over at four. Oh man! He called him yesterday, so he's. Well, I suppose it's probably one of those late. big ones. It's probably once a month, yeah, or maybe or once a quarter. No, I guess. it's once a month. He's. I've seen him on it a few times. Uh-huh. First Wednesday of the month. Yeah, I guess probably that's what it is. Yeah, he'll probably have a lot to say in that meeting. <laughs> he's probably yeah. sitting there silent oh, that's, that's funny. funny yeah frizz what'd you get up to over break so you're playing a lot of pond hockey yeah the Lucky you. i didn't actually know if the rinks would be like out or done by then because like obviously there's some around here that are refrigerated but none are refrigerated in winnipeg so when uh i got back it just so happened that temperature dropped a bit and we got a fresh sheet of ice that they uh, nice. did by my school there. So it was nice to get out there and buzz around. The first the first time I went, I went three times in total. The first time was like perfect conditions, perfect outdoor. The second time was Christmas Day. I went in the evening with some of my friends. And that was cold. That was when you uh, was that like <laughs> last year when you got yeah like, Botox, your face froze. Yeah, it wasn't <laughs> it wasn't quite that. It was just like really cold. But this was just like a just a night cold. It just mm. gets you down deep. And then, first cold uh, of the year. And then uh, the other time was just a couple of days ago, just for a quick buzz around. So it's it was nice workout. Jealous. It was fun. I was yeah. very jealous. I was jealous too. I brought my skates up to Duluth and a stick nothing and dude it rained basically almost every day it, it rained was a lot pouring on christmas uh-huh. all day. what a depressing really? christmas <laughs> yeah it was a depressing it turned christmas. to snow at the very end of the night but not yeah it was raining to, yeah not, not enough to raining. stick around it didn't it was, come until friday was yeah. there snow well yeah friday night yeah that's not what much. we have now that's it <laughs> a, little, a little dusting yeah even winnipeg didn't have much snow but I was able to go to my cabin, which has its own kind of like climate. Yeah, you get a lot there. of snow so there. It there was like. there was a decent amount. It snowmobiled a little bit. Um, it was funny because I wore all my cat stuff just uh-huh. just because because <laughs> all my friends, they do they actually like wear and use cat stuff when they do their work, and they're all just chirping me saying, <laughs> "Oh, look, you're never actually even gonna work in that stuff." Yeah. <laughs> so you had to throw it on to prove them. Yeah, it was funny. Prove them wrong. But yeah, and then. I honestly, surprisingly, didn't even do that much cooking. My brother took took nice. over a lot of it, and I kind of so noticed kinda that nice. in your videos that you posted. Your your brother was uh, doing most of the yeah the, the grunt work. Yeah, he took <laughs> he took it over. He did really good. We had uh, some venison. Yeah, we had some venison from his deer he got. Then we had prime rib, and Damn. then he smoked a turkey too. Wow! So, so you really were hands off. Yeah. I'm we jealous few, of that smoker. That smoker looks nice. Oh yeah, fun it's, to use. It's, that's really fun to use. We uh, yeah, we had a few different mixed like some family stuff, some friends stuff, and uh, overall it was a great break for eating and good. cooking and all that. So, who's up next? <laughs> <laughs> Not good, Frizz. good switch there, Frizzy. Uh-huh. The good yeah, I mean, mine was pretty low key. Um. Except for the three days of Christmas, 23, 23rd, 24th, 25th, I did like two Christmases a day. Hell yeah. So that was, oh. that was busy. Mm-hmm. But everything's within half hour of each other, so it's not too bad. But uh, saw all the family, possibly could have seen. Um, got a little sick last week. But other than that, it was just nice to sit back and really do nothing. Uh, you nice. got sick over the break? A little bit. I feel like I knew a lot of people that got sick, mm-hmm. at least like fa- like family wise. Oh really? That's yeah. too bad. But yeah, it was it's nice. A flu season. It was like honestly like the perfect week for it. 
Yeah. We just sat around. And Gave you yeah, a reason I guess to legit you, sit. You could it was when so to nice. Sick, yeah. Just waking up whenever. Laying doing low. Whatever, laying low. <laughs> yeah. Laying low, as Fris would say. It's a good, true reset, which was needed. Yeah, mine was pretty similar to Will. I I just stuck around here, and I I had three Christmas cr- three Christmases also, but it was all at the same house, so I actually didn't have to move at all. And mm. it was Jamie's family. They had like three separate ones, all on three separate days. It's a lot for them. Yeah. Well, they what they do in their family is they all pick a holiday, so like they won't host anything else the rest of the year. Mm. So th- there was this year. This year was Christmas, so they were the hosts of that holiday. Mm. But other than that, uh, spent New Year's Eve with Will and Sam. We watched the ball drop from the comforts of the couch. Oh, really? Yeah. We went to Maynard's for dinner. Yeah, it was a pretty nice it was night. Packed. Yeah, good food though. Very Watch good. the Vikes. Yeah. Oh my. God. Disappointing that depressing. Game. I went. Uh, I was at like a small little New Year's party with my friends, and I uh, made them go to the TV, and because the, they like moved the couch to like host more people. So I made them turn the game on so you could only see, like, three quarters of the TV. So you'd have to go and, like, go right up to the couch and and look over top and see the score. (laughs) Sadly, the boys in purple weren't winning. And Maynard's is, like, buzzing. There's a bunch of people in purple, like, super excited, like, 30 minutes before the game. And then slowly slowly went down. Yeah. (laughs) Left I left saw left a guy in, in our purple Unreal hoodies that we got. Oh, really? The Vikings Unreal. There's a guy in a football helmet. <laughs> <laughs> at Maynard's? <laughs> yeah. I peed by him in the bathroom. Come on. How uncomfortable is that? <laughs> Eating a burger with the helmet <laughs> on? Jersey and a helmet. Eyes. That's Dude, kind of a year. weird spot to be wearing that outfit. Yeah, go to the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ticket sales will be... Oh, they're away next week, aren't they? Yeah. Nah. It's over. It's over for them. Season's over. Oh, well, my! You did some hiking. Yeah, I was. I didn't uh, completely go ghost mode on purpose. I was uh, a lot of the time. I actually didn't have service, and like everything would come through at once. But no, it was good. Um, we did. It was the first time that I had Chinese food on Christmas Eve. Ooh. Oh, it was kinda yeah, good. nice. It was a good little switch up from the traditional home style cooking. But did that. Went to Kennedy's grandparents on Christmas Day and spent basically the whole day there. Very good, very good meals. New nice. Year's New Year's plans. We kind of we didn't really know what to do. That we just knew that there was like this little party at Blackwater. I don't know if you guys yeah know what there. that is. Yeah. Oh yeah, but it's just like this bar with really fancy drinks and they're kind of pricey. But <laughs> <laughs> it they was, are pricey. Uh, it was a good little spot. We tried to go to this. Uh, like little speakeasy and they had like this themed party mm. it was like renaissance theme oh and we're or like the or what was it called gatsby mm. uh, gatsby theme so we walk masks? in yeah and it's like like a bunch of older people and then there's this little band playing and <laughs> someone comes up to us and they're like this is a ticketed event sorry oh, oh. yeah booted out ticket yeah they stood Ooh. out it was it before 12 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think those mass parties are weird. It it was, it was a weird out. it was a weird creepy vibe because like you know like, um, speakeasers are kind of like that uh-huh. feeling anyway. But then there's like this guy with like a little guitar <laughs> in the corner and he's singing to like this room full of people dressed up in oh, Gatsby themes. So it's kind of funny. Yeah, I was jealous, man. I love Duluth. I wish I could have gone up there. Yeah, I did some hiking. It's fun. Found a couple new trails that I've never been to before, which is nice. But yeah, other than that, it kind of the weather was kind of crappy, just rain. Mm-hmm. Yeah, same down here. Yeah, there's one day you could like skate on your shoes on the road. Yeah, yeah see, it didn't even freeze in Duluth, which is weird. Like there was no snow; it was just warm and <laughs> yeah. wet. I was walking out of Target when it was raining, and that's right when it froze, and like you could. You could take like three hard strides and slide forever. Yeah. It's crazy. I saw that video you posted. It was so like it was like that on every road. It was so icy. Yeah. yeah. I think that happened in North Dakota too over the holidays. Like they shut down the interstate because it was just like completely ice. ice. Yeah, I was with uh Reese Gaber at mm. uh we're in Winnipeg and he didn't know if he could get go back. back the next day. Because it was too icy. Yeah, it was like real like yeah, they closed and mm. it's 
Never oh, know what that another funny stuff. thing over my break too. I got to see Batesy. Oh Batesy yeah, came, Batesy came up to Duluth, and we went to the UWS game. They were in the championship for the Superior Showdown, the dreaded tournament. Oh, that no one likes. Oh. You have to ruin your break for it, come back. <laughs> yeah. You get a four day break. That's yeah. it. But yeah, it was fun to see him. Good but game. Yeah, great game. Went into OT. They were playing the number one team in the country and won in overtime. It was packed at West cool. Who so like were the other one. teams in there? Because they usually Marianne, get some far ones. Dubuque. Dubuque. That new, new D3. Oh, yeah. yeah. Your brother was supposed to go to that team. I forgot. Oh, well, that's good. The boys finally finally won. Huh? Oh, Did another funny the, uh, person that I saw, too, that was so random that was at that game was Sterny. Yeah. yeah that, that, that was is random. That's super he random. He met Connor. Sterny. How's yeah. he doing? Good. Yeah. It was fun to see him catch up. I haven't seen him since we gr- since we graduated. I've seen him since it's Birmingham. Same. Old oh yeah, Sturdy. I guess that would have been his last time. Yeah. yeah. But frick, I live five minutes from his house, so it's been I don't know odd not seeing him. What yeah. was uh what was everyone's favorite gift? Hmm. I got a lot of like low key good ones, to be honest. Like not expensive, nice, but stuff that I would actually use. Mm-hmm. Yeah, those are the best kind. Best kinds. So I got some Apple Air tags. Won't lose my keys or wallet. Got a a lot of socks. Nice. Um, got some new shoes. I mean, that's all I can really think of that were nice. Very useful. <laughs> uh, well, like some my I guess my two big gifts I kind of got for Black Friday. Like my mom bought them for me, and they are here in Minneapolis, so I knew what they were. But she still like put them in a box, and I got the, like the picture of it and stuff so i got <laughs> yeah the instapot and then uh i got some new pans which i have not tried yet pans like pan set nice non, that's non-stick. huge uh hi- they're hybrids oh uh, so you're gonna put the parchment paper on it no like cooking pans pans pans, pans. A pan, oh not a gotcha. sheet. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha yeah that's what i'm thinking <laughs> sheet um pan, pan, pan. But surprisingly, pan, pan pan situation. and me and my brothers Jeez. always do like funny, uh, <laughs> pan. <laughs> the pan, uh, pan situation. <laughs> me and my brothers do like the funny gift type thing. And <laughs> yeah, my first gift that I opened, my brother got me a, uh, booklet for seed and crop. I, uh, there you go. You looking Can to get into the we'll farming we'll trade? Learn something. Yeah. Cause he's in agriculture. So that was pretty funny. I did. I, peeked through it for a little bit and there's some bugs in there and <laughs> pests i'd never heard of so that was the ones in your hair yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then actually my other brother got me something nice it was a good gift i'd say it was a hot honey which i'd never mm, put on been, pizza yeah never had before Heck yeah it's just a nice nice gift by him which i did not expect from my, other, my brothers would you get him for your funny gift um well, I got them some some no bad shirts, and but I did get them stuff from Cat, and my parents also got stuff from Cat. Whatever, everyone loved the Cat nice. stuff. So heavy duty, yeah, it's heavy good. Duty. Yeah, I got um, some very like useful things. Um, got some WeatherTech floor mats from a car. Mm. Nice, which I needed because I have the stupid carpet ones that yeah. are terrible in the winter. Just Get makes moldy. it wet in there. Yeah. yeah. Um, still haven't put them in, but need to do that. <laughs> um, got a new Vitamix blender, Ooh. which I have used every single day. Nice. Gotta love it. Love that a lot. Um, my brother's got me a wall bottle opener. Like, oh, oh yeah, yeah. Minnesota yeah. shape. Mm-hmm. Nice. And a six pack of Stella's. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a New nice. Year's Eve drink, eh? And then, uh, oh, um... Sam's parents got me some hunting boots. Nice. nice. Which the caterpillar? Nice I didn't want. I didn't want to get those myself. <laughs> yeah, those so. are expensive. Yeah, show some dry feet and dry car. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, I got some pretty useful gifts as well. I got a old fashioned ice tray, the circles and the cubes. <laughs> did you use it last night? Uh, no, I did. Uh, fill it up with water though and throw it in the fr- freezer. Um, tonight's the night. Yeah. <laughs> and tomorrow uh, side eye <laughs> i saw that um and i got a tool set which is probably my that's biggest huge gift. just like the very common ones yeah all just, the basics yeah all the basic uh wrenches nice. ratchets <laughs> i got like one sweater also and it's like 
awesome. Love it. But I was so glad I didn't get any other clothes. Yeah. I don't need I any did clothes. get a, I got a flannel too. <laughs> it's just like so much. Mm-hmm. Yelly, you took some time and really, uh, yeah, that was funny. Ridded <laughs> your apartment. Oh, dude. Things. Yeah. We, uh, it, I'm kind of like this where like if I start something, I kind of go all in on it. Cause initially it was just, let's do shoes. And so that was a plan just to go through shoes and that led to hoodies, which then led to shirts. And we probably spent like six hours going through all this stuff. And yeah, like we, I gave a lot cause like all my nice stuff that I don't wear, I took photos and like sent it to like my family and her and Jamie's family. And so like I'm getting rid of like good stuff and giving it to people, but then all the junky stuff, like we're just going to bring the goodwill and like donate. But yeah, there is so much stuff that I got rid of is insane. Yeah. I'm going to do that too. My closet's yeah. pretty much full. <laughs> Feels nice dude. having like decluttering, getting so much stuff that was taking up space that you never wear. I know. Like I wear the same three pairs of pants, the same mm-hmm. hoodies, uh-huh. same shirts. Yeah. So much extra. I gave like two garbage bags full to my brothers and they picked through it and the rest mm-hmm. that they didn't want, I think we'll give away too, but mm-hmm. huge. Dude, it like, helps a lot. I didn't realize like even like going through hoodies, how hard it is to like justify getting rid of something. Mm-hmm. Like there's hoodies that I literally did not wear at all in 2023, but like I wore like in college and I was like, oh, I want to keep this like blah, blah, blah. But it was hard to get rid of some of the stuff. There's yeah, so you much. look at it too, and it's like maybe it's like brand new, brand new, or you wore it once, and it's like it's a pretty cool hoodie, but <laughs> don't wear it ever. I'd never wear it. Yeah, yeah. It didn't yeah, help that we got like too. three hoodies from Caterpillar too. So like that added cat three stuff, new ones. That cat stuff I got a because I got my parents stuff and my sister's stuff, so uh, <laughs> it's just sitting in my apartment like taking up space in the boxes. Oh, the big box. So I gotta <laughs> ship it out. Or mm. No, that would be a lot of money me. to ship that, even just in North Dakota. You think? It's a big like box. A shoe box? Oh, no, a not shoe that box. big. Not oh, that gotcha. big box, just like a shoe box. Yeah, probably a couple grand. Yeah. <laughs> a couple thousand. <laughs> it was funny when we were looking up that box to ship to Felipe. Oh, God. It's like 450 bucks <laughs> to ship to Winnipeg. What did but he end up doing? Just yeah, so you guys know, them. I saved the day. I had the. So Felipe randomly called me like last week sometime, and he was like, Hey, do you do you know where Bloomington is? And I don't know if he knew that I lived there. Probably it, not. <laughs> but whatever. I was like, I live in Bloomington. He's like, well, I got some friends there celebrating New Year's Eve. Can you drop off like my stuff? And I, I said, yeah. He's like, also like if you can get it out of that big box and put it into either a smaller box or duffel bag, that'd be good because they're bringing it across the border. So I took everything out of his box, putting it in my old duffel bag that I hope he keeps because I was trying to get rid of that thing. So I. Oh. Packed it. Nice. And this guy, he sent me the address and the guy's contact. And he, the apartment that he was at was a mile down the road. It was like such Dang. a weird coincidence. So, yeah. Gave it to his buddy and the rest is history. Felipe's taken care of. Felipe's nice. taken care of. Got his gifts. Yep. Anyone got any New Year's resolutions? You know, that's a big kind of topic I've seen on social media lately. I don't usually make resolutions. I but don't either. I didn't make any anything, resolutions, but I did goals. Anything, yeah, just different things that you want to accomplish. Yeah. Um, get better at. I guess a unique unique thing for me is I want to get more into reading. Jamie reads every single day, and there's times when I'm sitting on the couch, like, scrolling on my phone. I'm like, wow, I probably should read if this is what it's going to be like forever now. And so my goal is to read seven books this year. So, like, one every month and a half. Nice. Pretty lofty goal, but. I'm Lofty a, goal, Herb. I've read every day for the past week, so I think it's starting to kick good, in. You're on a good start. Yeah. Good start. Seven books. I started with a really long one, though, so I don't <laughs> <laughs> I might get unmotivated here. Yeah, how long here. are the books? Yeah. Maybe children's books? No, th- I'm reading all these fantasy books that Jamie's read and recommended. Get so, your imagination going. Yeah, I'm reading about a, a dragon stuff. That is one thing I cannot, like, get into. I've tried sitting down and just reading it's hard like but it's good for you i, I just guess. feel like i gotta like do something more productive i got two books um uh, before this is before i got them like black friday ish uh but the thing is i got these books because i was on tiktok and i scrolled past it and it was just like these psychology like business books mm-hmm. so 
where's the balance here? I wouldn't have found these books if I wasn't bumming around <laughs> scrolling. True. <laughs> so I'm I have to have figure that them? out. I'm like halfway through the first one. They're they're just those books that you have to like kind of read slowly because if you read fast, you're just like not yeah. processing any information. Yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah, What's maybe. It uh, the first one is called. That's good. Uh, I can't. <laughs> there we go. What it's called. He's reading too fast. Must I guess. Be, yeah. <laughs> Skip the title <laughs> page. Yeah. Skip the p- title page. But <laughs> as for uh, a goal, uh, well, right now it was kind of hard to set a goal because this will tie into a little thing. So, mm. yeah, some of you guys may know that I'm Canadian and. It is difficult for me to work in the U.S. right now because my visa just expired. It was only one year, and it's one of those visas you can't, like, just renew every year. So my situation is kind of up in the air right now because I had some trouble at the border, and I sadly have to go back in T-minus nine days. Nine days? Well, it was 10. He gave me 10 days. Dang. Oh, I thought you said the 14th. He did. So what's nine yeah. days? Is that the fourteenth then? Nine days from now is the twelfth. Twelfth. Oh well, and he gave me to the fourteenth, so twelve days. Oh. I guess. So uh, my question for yeah, you is: um, Do you know, like, a, when you go back on the fourteenth or whatever date is fourteenth? Do you know when you're allowed then to come back here? No, he. Uh, like, I'm talking to a lawyer today, but um, he just said like. You're making the right steps, so, like, I technically could have denied you. And, like, then he was also, like, but if you also didn't tell us you wanted to work in the U.S. still and you were living there, he said he could have banned me for five years if oh, they found how that How sad out. would you have been Jeez. if that's what they came oh, back see with? Yeah, boys, selling my shares. <laughs> <laughs> five years. Yeah, so that's so it's kind of Way hard for me to set a sort of, well, at least for me, like, a personal like social media job working type goal but for uh 2024 i just want to keep making the right steps in all the directions with health fitness and just creating a career around what we're doing type thing i like it hell yeah yeah. good goal Mm -hmm. i think my biggest thing not exactly sure it's going to be kind of trial and error but is just to like give myself the best opportunity to wake up with like energy every day okay i like it going to bed earlier i don't know what it's gonna take it's probably different week to week lemon mm-hmm. water but there's been s- there was so many mornings towards the end of last year where i'd just be like dreading kind of the day mm-hmm. so if i could just boost the energy somehow that's sustainable not sure how it's gonna work yet but I like it bring in the juice mm-hmm. yeah one thing for me i guess a goal i don't know let's try get more stabilized i guess like between i'm running back between farming and social media so just kind of continue to balance the two and maybe go back to the farm a little bit longer than i have been help out my dad a little more this year i like it felt bad leaving him in behind last year for so long (laughs) it's a lot of work for one man yeah one man band focus on that a little bit more yeah, I did. sad. You know what? When uh, I realized, like, I spent a lot of time with my brothers when they were home too. Mm-hmm. Um, and then when they went back, I was like, "Holy, I'm getting old." An old dog. It kind of puts things. It's like you gotta figure some things out a little bit this year because yeah. it's your year, man. It's a big freaking year. It's probably the busiest. Gonna be the busiest year of my life. Yeah. But you're about to be married this year. Nine months. <laughs> Almost nine months to the day. How's the planning going? Good. You <laughs> chunk, and, chunk and save the dates out right now. They nice. got this board in there because I was at this apartment. They got this uh, like a white like a whiteboard. Board, I guess. It's like a piece of a piece of paper, but it's like one like of those the big poster paper. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. And it's got like I don't know fifty post-it notes, and it's all broken down like color coded to different tasks that need to be done. So like. Wow. Each post note is like one specific task, and they you guys pull it off as organization. I like it, but like ju- the reason I brought this up is because just like the whole thing of a wedding, that's crazy. Like all those little tasks that you never think you got to do. At least that like I didn't just know. More than yeah, it just seems like yeah. there's so many okay. little tasks that you guys yeah, got to do. Sam made this done. big board that she saw, and uh, definitely overwhelming to look at. 
and it's our choice to like have a bigger wedding. So I mean, I think that will case help by out, case because yeah. some people obviously don't want a big wedding, but for mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah, lots to do. I'd rather have the visual looking at it than put it like in your head like, oh, we gotta do oh, this this yeah. week. Yeah, like, forget that, everything. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. chipping you're doing, away, you're doing it the right way. Chipping away, chip and we'll figure it out. <laughs> chip and chase. She's writing on the envelopes. My job is just to stuff them and lick them. Oh, <laughs> stuff well, them's hey. fine, but the licking part. Oh, yeah. hey. Well, hey, we got the tips from the Christmas cards. The wet sponge along the outside. Yeah, I probably should do that. I don't want to get a headache from the glue. No, <laughs> we're doing like a few a day or whatever. Yeah, chunking them out whenever we can. But got to save the dates. And then we'll have to do the invites. We're actually having dinner tonight with your parents to finalize finalize the guest list. Oh, so you'll have the number tonight, hopefully the, the send out number. Been saying that for a while. <laughs> Who knows? They got big family. Yeah. So we'll see. Should be fun. But yeah, what are we up to next? We are heading to New York next week. Oh yeah, crazy. That's my crazy. last One trip with THG today. ever. No, just kidding. Because I was also thinking it works out because. Toronto too. Oh yeah, you'll be fine. For so that. I'll be able to stay within the country. That's what Will and I were saying last week. We're like, well, at the least, you can just meet us in Toronto. If he what if you could to go. vacation to Warroad? Uh no. I like I told I said like, well, why I was gonna plan on entering as a visitor, and then he was like, well, you're not a visitor because you're like taking gotcha. steps seeking employment and stuff. So what are you technically? Well, right now, I don't know. He gave me something. It's so weird how before. you have like a you have an apartment here, and it's like it's yeah, also weird to me how just stuff. like, I mean, is it the year because you graduated last December? Mm-hmm. So it's not just the new year. Yeah. It's okay. The, it's weird how that worked out because at first I was like, all of a sudden it's just a new year, and this guy's whole life is changing now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But and, I guess that makes sense. And he said to me, he's like. I recommend you get all your stuff out of out of Minneapolis. Oh, and I, was, I thought to myself, uh, "Hell, I am doing that." <laughs> he, he no big way. dog uh, Jay. Yeah. Well, Dang. It'll be interesting. At least we'll you'll get to go to Toronto for sure. But yeah, yeah. we're heading up back to heading back to Long Island for our yep. third Islanders game <laughs> on January 11th versus Toronto, and we're going to be hanging out at the uh, their little outdoor rink park forget exactly what it's called before the game like the afternoon before so if anyone's on long island on january 11th come on by come on by i think the park's free i don't don't quote me on that yeah probably isn't honestly (laughs) but uh come by if you don't want to go to the game or hopefully we can see you at the game looking forward to it yeah we got other news too uh well, uh, Frizz knows, Will knows, I don't think Cuddy knows yet, but we do have a confirmed guest that we're bringing to the game with yeah, us. I heard that this morning. There you go. So that's a good little surprise add on yep. to the island. We're not going to say it just in case. We've still got a week. Don't want to <laughs> yeah, jinx it. Yeah. No jinxing. But yeah, should be a fun trip. Never really been to New York in the dead of winter. Actually, I never have I been. I don't think I have either. Only well, I, fall, spring, I heard, and summer. I heard this. Uh, Christmas New York was the worst ever. <laughs> oh my god, it was I so packed. Video. Like there's was, so New Year's many people. No, like f- to Christmas area. Like everyone wants to go see the tree and skate oh. and like yeah. go to New. Like that's <laughs> when people want to go to New York is for December, and it was the craziest it's ever been with the amount of people going there. Dang. I saw a video too on the New Year's Eve thing. <laughs> I think I got a hunch what you're gonna. Apparently, see people, you know, to go to the ball drop. You got to be there at like 4 or 5 a.m., wait all day, and then at 3 p.m., they open the gates so you can run up to be as close to whatever. I don't know what they're running mm-hmm. to, I guess, closer to the, the ball. front gate. And uh, just imagine. That, that's like my hell on earth. I mean, if you're front line, you're stuck there. You're I mean, stuck they there, wanna be there from but, 5 oh, till yeah. midnight, and mm-hmm. then some getting out. No yeah. bathroom, no food. Well, did you hear the inter- someone interviewed the people on the front gate? Did they? I bought the yeah. bathroom. What did they say? That. I didn't uh, see this. Someone answered they were they were in diapers that they sit in all day. No. Yeah. Uh, and then there was another guy. I don't know if you saw the video I'm talking about. Yeah, he I pulled out uh, some pads, like wow. la- like lady pads, and the interview was like, those won't work. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. The uh, one guy... Had, who had a diaper on? He said it was starting to get a little chilly down there. Oh. <laughs> He's got diaper rash. <laughs> that is literally 
I can't <laughs> think of a worse way to spend. You gotta hold years. it all day. I'm not drinking any water or anything. Yeah, I that would, whole I'd just be that's just, yeah. slowly. And I, I don't think it's many New Yorkers who do that. No, mm-hmm. I think it's a million tourists. They have a million people sitting in that little corral. So crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. We'll be there probably. I don't know if we'll go to Times Square or not. Seen it. Seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's not too cold. I like walking around. Love exploring, walking around New York. Bring your parka, Chris. I can't wait for the pizza. Some pizza. (laughs) Pizza. That would be nice. We'll have most of Wednesday to do whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Get some pizza by the slice. Thursday, really. I don't know what else we would do, but walk around. Pizza. Quick forty-eight in New York. Should be fun. I think. If I'm not mistaken, we are in another new location. Good. Yeah, I we like were unlocking about that. new maps. Yeah. yeah, it's like the it's like when you play Fortnite and you have to unlock the new area. Yeah, mm-hmm. I just played Fortnite over the break. Oh yeah, it's back. People are loving it. Again. I did play a little bit with my brothers, and uh, <sighs> I can I'll retire <laughs> again. <laughs> it's a little too hard. I got days. into heyday over the break again. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Started You're firing up my farm. Farming. Farming that on the game phone. Was fun. Yeah, I'm not really a video game guy. Oh, I, my brothers are like, you should get an Xbox. You should get an Xbox because that's should. all they do at college and yeah. juniors. I'm like, no. <laughs> then I'll I'll never put it away. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. I played Call of Duty a bit. Mm. Jamie's brother has Any all good? the games. I played Gun Game. Yeah. Fun. Fun. Not good though. Yeah, it's so hard. Dude, like it. kids are, we're just over, over the. If, if you didn't stick to it, you're just bad. Yeah, yeah I got no. I dexterity. never got into video games really. No, so that's for really like college. I did not either. I was never any good, so it just pissed me off. <laughs> we were we were just old enough where Xboxes were just coming out, but it wasn't like crazy hype yet. I feel like. Oh, my friends were all hyped oh, about my friends it. Were only the new Xbox, caught. new PS, whatever. Run home from mm-hmm. school and just play all night. Yeah. I was never like that. Yeah. Well, I my, my brothers, like his friends, I felt like were insane about it. Yeah. All of them were. I remember when the Wii, the Wii came out. The that Wii was a, was a madhouse. That was a big Christmas gift I got. That was sold year. out everywhere. Yeah. For yeah. A long I actually time. played some Guitar Hero on the Wii over break. Nice. I didn't even know they had that guitar for the Hero Wii. Three. Leonard Skinner. Free so bird. You could, <laughs> my brothers, you can play Guitar Hero in Fortnite now. How? Like you don't you don't play it on the guitar, but you use the controller, and it's the exact same. There's like the co- like each character. Your brother still game? Slow. Oh yeah, they yeah. still do it. Wow, yeah. dang! I like the drum set. Being a drummer, in rock band. Yeah, mm-hmm. whatever rock band. See, it's all I know about games. Rock band was fun. Talk about like storing like a game console or a game. <laughs> you got like a drum you set. A whole room. drum set, <laughs> a guitar, microphone with the microphone, stand. Microphone, yeah. <laughs> Isn't like, there a bass a, too? Yeah, yeah probably. You can, probably have, you can add a bass. You can have like a full band. It's kind of a cool yeah. concept. Great mm. concept. Get it was everyone involved. Fun, yeah. Get everyone involved. Probably can't find it anywhere now. No. For it's a past, cheap penny, past its prime. Mm-hmm. But you guys ever play uh, Connect Xbox Connect? You don't even need a controller. Oh, it's just tried like, to. Oh well, yeah, well, was, I did have a Connect. But yeah, I never really liked it. No, it yeah, it was kind of iffy. It was so the games were weird. It was definitely like a very cool concept. It was, like the, it was like the Wii with no. Remote. I thought it was fun. Oh, well, my buddy had the. Uh, it was like an Olympic. Forgot thing. about that. No, so you just didn't catch it. on though. Hey, you don't really hear about that. No. Kind of got the glasses though. now. The virtual reality world. Oh mm-hmm. yeah, the meta oh, thing. Oh man, you think you'll ever get into that? No, uh, I doubt it. But I feel like we probably will. I'd like to try it. Maybe, I have never. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe play like, it for a day. Yeah, but I don't know. I did. I would one, do a uh, workout on it. I did one. I did a game in Duluth. <laughs> that uh, yeah. what's that like gaming center in Canal Park? They have like mini golf. Oh, adventure zone. zone. Yeah, adventure zone. 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 I did. Fun they had zone. a virtual <laughs> reality thing there, and I did it. And you have to like, you have like a mini like treadmill that you walk on and then you're like in you're gated in an area so you don't like push too far Mm. off but Mm. it is crazy because like the screen goes like all the way till it's like past your eyes so even if you like look super far that way you're still only seeing like the reality can't get out of it yeah it it is pretty well i bet it's even 
I mean, some of the glasses now are even way more oh, high yeah, tech than the sure. one you played at Adventure Zone, I bet. Mm. Dang. I always laugh at the videos of like dads putting them on and playing football and they're like run into a wall. <laughs> Take it too serious. Yeah, they get sucked right in. <laughs> it's reality. Yeah. Mm. It's reality of life. But uh on Friday we had a fun little when Yelly and I were here, got to see some some samples. Mm-hmm. As drop two for no bad is in the works. Yep. It's yep. exciting. We've been uh as Cuddy was climbing and hiking mountains, we were hard at work. <laughs> Me, Rory, and Lawson were uh, hammering out a bunch of new designs uh, for No Bad Drop 2 and kind of debating with, like, different timelines and because, like, everything takes time, especially this time of year when there's so many different holiday breaks and overseas they celebrate some and then then they have their own ones and so like that was kind of really hard to balance around and it still is so we uh got some samples in they looked pretty good but we still had to change some stuff and now we officially ordered two more samples sweatsuit samples what, so we're what? getting uh some what, what? pants Pants and a hoodie sweatsuit, and then a crew neck and a hoodie, or a crew neck and pants sweatsuit. And uh, those will have the final designs on them. And then we'll place that order, and it's good to go. But we also have another announcement. What? We're restocking what? the founders' hoodies. Those I just heard were shipped out today. Nice. So we'll have those. And I think if you're going to be around for Hockey Day in Minnesota, up in War Road, we're going to have some in stock there. What, what? So there's that. And then we are also nearing a very cool design, very limited design for the All-Star in Toronto. Let's go. So we Those have a sick. bunch of new things coming out for all the, well, besides the, the sweatsuits, like our core, it's called the core collection, but the other two are tying into what we're doing. And that's what we also want to do with No Bad is, if we're going somewhere, we're doing something, we want to try and uh, tie a theme behind it and make it like a li- little limited uh, limited edition thing. So Nice. Heck yeah. Sounds like those books are working. You're dialed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was it called again? <laughs> I'll send you a picture and I get back. <laughs> All right. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Should be a busy couple of months here. We're back into the fire. We got New York. We got Warroad, Minnesota for Hockey Day, Minnesota weekend. And then the next week, we're off to Toronto. And then we have the drop in February. So it's mm-hmm. going to be a crazy month and a half. Yep. Right back. It's good. Right into it. How we um, like it. Good. Going to be fun. And Cuddy wants to show off a little little game he got. He can explain this. Got the Riddler little, needed some help. Got a little Christmas gift from our friend Katie May. It's a riddle game. Woo. So I'm going to see if these ones work on you, boys. <laughs> Word teasers. Start off and go through them. Bring it. <laughs> well, while he's digging through that, I can pull up some uh Yeah, let's hockey do some questions, questions first. One, one with the riddle. Yeah. Hold off on the riddle. Well, yeah. No, you can dig around and find one. I got one. I'm just going to pull him. Okay, rip it. Oh, well, you're what not, was, oh. that? <laughs> what was that? What was that? I was like, uh, yeah. Kermit. Was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that My you? cleanse. <laughs> that was odd. Whew. Holy tea. <laughs> <laughs> All right. If six children and two dogs are under an, um, under an umbrella that only covers two children and one dog, how come no one is wet? Did you see the back? No. Okay. Good. You might have to repeat six that one. Six children, two dogs. Oh, yeah. If six children and two dogs are under an umbrella that only covers two children and one dog, how come no one is wet? Because it's not raining. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> There Actually, yeah. <coughs> makes sense. Perfect. Sometimes it's just so simple. Good job, Frizz. God, these books, man. Down. These right. books. Because <laughs> it wasn't raining for 400. Yeah. It was exactly. not raining. Um, Under your umbrella for 400. <laughs> no rain. <laughs> we'll get them next time, Katie May. We're oh, 1 Here's one. Here's an, a question we haven't answered yet. So welcome back to the No Bad Hockey Questions. We got a decent amount from you crew this time. Good job. Um, this one's kind of worded a little bit differently, but basically 
she Megan is trying to ask, what is a delayed penalty? Like, why mm. do sometimes penalties not just get blown down instantly? Good question. I don't know why that was a rule, but uh, if the team that drew the penalty has the puck, then they get to keep playing until the team who committed the penalty, committed the crime, touches the puck. But that's a delayed. That's the definition, I yeah. guess. I don't really know why. I think it just gives them a little more of an advantage because yeah. they can usually pull their goalie if they have good. Per- sometimes delayed penalties are like a second. Sometimes they're a minute. I don't mm-hmm. know. But it's an odd one when you actually think about what mm-hmm. that is a penalty weird, is. That is a I'm weird not sure why they rule. made that. Super unique to hockey. Yeah. It's just another reason not to take penalties, I guess. Yeah. And go. <laughs> Pull your goalie quick because right when they, they can't score unless you put it in your own net. It's got to so. be just because it gives it more of an advantage. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Good question. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's another one. How do you guys, or most guys, handle maintaining good mental health while on a team? Like on a sports team? Uh, sports, yeah. team. sports team. I guess any team. Um, That's a, been a big topic recently mm-hmm. in college sports. Usually, usually uh, universities have like uh, some professional help, like a team doctor, or something like that. You kind of well, I think you could health. make it a little more simpler than that. I It'd think be like you go finding, basically finding like balance between if you're in hockey, like being away from the rink and being at the rink, so you're not overwhelmed with. Maybe you're spending too much time at the rink and there's other things going on that's harder in life that you have to take care of or the opposite. You're maybe falling behind on the team because you're not at the rink enough training and you're not, you're maybe you're finding yourself not as dedicated as you hoped and that's leading mm-hmm. to I think off-ice. the simple answer is just like saying balance, but then just finding little things that work for you just to keep it all Keep it all positive, Find I guess. Find a friend. Get yeah. a friend on the team. Yeah, hopefully yeah. you have a good team environment where you can uh-huh. maybe let it out to someone or a, t- a teammate or a helpful coach. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I think we learned a lot of that. Like, uh-huh. in our four years of college was just if things aren't going right one way, then take a little reset and just do what you can because a lot of it is out of your control. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I think that um, just building up to it, we're like like to kind of build that uh mental health like resiliency like i think for me it was always like building relationships outside of the rink with your teammates Mm -hmm. instead of it just being a relationship because of hockey like Mm -hmm. just beyond like the actual sport yeah that always helped out before anything got bad and at the end of the day if it if you're talking about a team sport it's just a game it is just a game yeah Oh, yeah, we got two more here. This is an interesting one. It has not been asked before, but can a goalie receive a penalty, and do they have to go sit in the penalty <laughs> box if they do? <laughs> nope. No. Speaking, before we answer that, do you guys see the goalie fight in oh, Indy? Oh, yeah. No. So Drizzy. No, no Drizzy. way. Really? I didn't see it. Was it a good fight? Yeah. It was a great goalie fight. <laughs> what? Yeah, Zeal. That's sick. Zeal, get Drizzy. He got in a fight. Dang. I'll we'll have to look at that. I like. I forget if it was fights. right before New Year's, like New Year's weekend or what, but it was a good goalie fight. Yeah. So yes, they can get penalties. Yeah, goalies can get a lot of the same penalties the regular players can. Like they can trip people with their sticks, uh-huh. slashing, mm-hmm. interference. Um, they don't go to the box. They do not go to the box. It'll usually be. I don't know if it has to be someone from the ice. No, they they can still stay in the net. Well, depending on what they do, but. Um, it's either someone from the ice or someone has to go serve their penalties, but it does happen. It is on the rare side, but definitely does happen for sure. I think they can get kicked out at the max. They can get kicked out for Mm -hmm. sure. But yeah, Yeah, there's definitely some goalies who, uh, probably should have been called for more penalties just with their sticks when you're sitting in front of them. You really have no, you can't defend yourself with a goalie. If you turn around and hit the goalie back, like. Then you're getting a penalty too. So. I, I wonder what it's like for a goalie to like do a minor penalty where it's only two minutes, and then someone's serving it for you, but like the kill is be like the penalty kill is because of you taking a penalty, and you're yeah. still. I don't know. Yeah. I feel like that would good question. Usually, you're just making your 
It's it's usually you're pissed at your team yeah. for taking a penalty. <laughs> yeah, but you just made more work for yourself trying to kill a penalty. Yeah. When my dad was playing goalie in college, it was the first time that my mom's parents went and watched him play. And he got scored on. And he, like, <laughs> his story is he took the puck out of the net really, like, quickly and like mm. shot it to center ice because obviously he out of ref. frustration or something and the ref thought that he was shooting the puck at him so he got <laughs> misconduct and got kicked out no oh, way gosh. in front of a, the, the Good in-laws play <laughs> yeah, that's so first long. time they ever seen hockey they're from england and oh, they see wow. my dad get kicked out they probably fired that's up funny. about that <laughs> for shooting funny. a puck <laughs> yeah, i don't think yeah, he likes that, that story much but, uh, <laughs> great story probably embarrassed great story the last question we've said it before but we'll we'll give it one more time for a little uh refresher here cuddy can you explain us what offside is offside it's a tough one <laughs> you can't you basically as few can't, words as possible <laughs> you can't can't cross the blue line without the puck otherwise you're offside yeah the puck actually has to be go ahead of the blue line before you are and if you are in the zone the f- offensive zone before the puck if the puck crosses before or after you there's a whistle so it basically just makes it so players can't just sit on the other end of the ice cherry pick and wait for the puck you have to kind of go in together but thank you everyone you had a lot of questions here we'll get back to the, some of them uh, next round but keep up the good work Starting off the new year right. The no bad hockey <laughs> questions. First yeah. episode. You guys remember that the two line pass rule? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't Such really, a dumb yeah. rule. Really remember it honestly. They basically think, just took yeah. away long breakaway passes. Yeah. Like stretch passes. Mm-hmm. They didn't want much scoring here. Mm-mm. It was dumb. Yeah. That was like early two thousands. Yeah. It's crazy that that was a rule for a while. That'd yeah. be so weird as a ref like having to also like watch that. It's basically yeah. That you, one's more obvious though than you just can't pass sometimes. it from your D zone over the red line. Yeah, it's so crazy. That was a rule. Some of you guys may have seen that we posted our YouTube video when me and Lawson went to LA at David Dobrik's house exclusively on the Patreon. Some of the Patreon people loved it, or sorry, the p- people on Patreon loved it. So if you want to see it, just some of them. <laughs> if you want to see it. Uh, sign up for the Patreon. You're going to get other exclusive things like our hockey talk that we do before these. It's about 20, 30 minutes chatting about NHL, our own experiences. Yeah, we got a lot of new ideas for uh, the new year that we're going to be bringing to Patreon also. So check it out. And as uh, Cuddy and Yelly like to use for their sellers, it's less than a cup of coffee a month for you too. So you skip out on your Starbucks once once a month, and you can have tons of bonus content from the fellas. Heck yeah. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for being here today. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share, and good luck with your New Year's resolution. Happy New Year. Happy New Thank Year. Thank you. Peace.